Midas is back in our Fortnite game. <gasps> well, I say Midas. Well, actually, me and Meow Souls has been added back into our Fortnite game in the most recent update of season three. And he is literally the same as he always was. That's my guy right there. And the southwestern side of our Fortnite island server games has added in a bunch of old school Meow Souls props. You guys know Meow Souls from all the way back in season two of chapter two with Midas. Meow Souls was Midas' sidekick. And in the season of Secret Agents and Spies, he played a major part in building the Doomsday device. No, not the Doomsday device with Dr. Sloan, the original Doomsday device, but what's more important is Epic Games has actually added him back into the game as an interactable NPC. And he's got some interesting things to say. He also coughs up a hairball, but in a cool way. That's kind of nasty, my guy. Oh, but interestingly enough, if we actually use the Midas skin and interact with Meow Souls, he gives us a different piece of dialogue. Whoa, are we back online? You know what that means? If Meow Souls is back in our Fortnite's game and he thinks we're back online, when I use the Midas outfits, this secret tells us that it would seem that Midas might be coming back in Fortnite's chapter three. And by might, I mean, it's pretty much confirmed. I think it's gonna happen at some point. Well, I mean, it would definitely happen at some point, but when will it happen? I mean, who knows? Probably gonna be this chapter. Thanks, Meowsos, for your time. We'll see you soon. Huge game-changing map changes have hit our Fortnite's game once again. Not just the routes that have quite clearly been added to this location, but the fact that Tilted Towers is about to change forever. Well, we know giant routes are expanding all around our Fortnite island. Literally, giant routes from the massive lotus tree that is in our game have been appearing at all kinds of Fortnite locations. And each time, they sprout a lotus tree, which changes these locations repeatedly. Oh, but what is super interesting is not only have we seen the next giant pair of roots that have been in our foot. There was literally a root there a moment ago. How did that guy destroy those roots? What? the heck? Uh, anyway. Not only has the next round of roots actually appeared at this location, literally in Fortnite's most recent update, but with it being so close to Tilted Towers, it seems that the next location to be affected by the Lotus Trees is literally going to be Tilted. We know Logjam Lomya is literally changing every single game. Different realms and different realities are being switched each and every time, and it is affecting the Logjam every game. With roots now appearing at Tilted Towers, we can assume that Tilted Towers itself is going to be one of the next locations in Season 3 to change every single game. It seems likely that Tilted Towers in the next incoming update is going to become covered in roots more and more. The Reality Fall Tree roots are going to begin to worm their way in and sprout through the concrete, ultimately taking hold of this iconic location. The question is that we all want to know is which locations will replace Tilted each and every game? Oh Well, we have the answers. Because in the game's files, I've actually uncovered a handful of locations that are going to be used in upcoming updates. These will all be locations that the lotus trees are going to switch between each game at each designated location. So what locations are coming back? Parts of Neo Tilted have been found in the game's files and by parts I literally mean huge portions of the old Neo Tilted from all the way back in season 9. Literally we can see what the final product will look like and presumably with this being Neo Tilted we can assume that Tilted Towers itself will be the location where Neo Tilted appears. So much like in Logjam Lumyard where it changes each game, Tilted Towers will change each game between Tilted Towers and Neo Tilted. Another location to be discovered in the files happens to be, uh... Aquaman's, uh, location. I, I can't remember what this location was called. Coral Cove, maybe? You know that location that everybody hated? Yes, Coral Cove. Aquaman's location all the way back from Season 3 of Chapter 2 seems to be making a reappearance in our Fortnite game. This location that's been uncovered in the files and is going to be used as a location that is going to be switched each game by the Lotus Tree. For those who are fans of Coral Cove, Hope they will be excited to see this rather old school location make a reappearance in our brand new chapter 3 season 3 game. And for all those who are excited to see Coral Cove, well, feel free to leave this video and go watch something else. Nobody likes Coral Cove and we don't want you here. <laughs> oh, of course I'm joking, you guys can stick around, but Coral Cove is going to be making a reappearance and maybe this will be one of the other locations to appear at Tilted Towers in the incoming Lotus event at this location. Uh, hey bro, stop. Hey, where you going? Get back here. Dog, I, I meant ball. Actually, speaking of location changes, I quickly want to say this because there's never going to be a better time to point it out to players. In Rave Cavern right now, there are actually three secret statues that have made an appearance. You know what's crazy? Nobody has spoke about this, but these three Easter egg statues actually correlate directly to the locations that we have now seen appear at Logjam. Golden Statue of Menace is obviously there, and this actually correlates to the Colosseum location that we now have at the Logjam. You remember that wheel from a pirate ship that made an appearance? Well, it's funny because we actually had that 
that same ship appear in our Fortnite game at the logjam location. We were slightly confused about this giant coral buddy head, but now it makes a lot of sense. With coral Cove making a reappearance this season, it seems that these are matching. It seems that the games has been throwing out hints, letting us know exactly what is going to be coming to Fortnite, and we just didn't notice. Oh, that's crazy! <laughs> hey, bro, are you good, dog? Hey, I'm trying to do a video. Oh, yes, sir. Somebody stop me! Hey, don't be going anywhere. There's actually even more changes going on in our first night's game that you guys need to see. And we're gonna be getting into them right now. Uh, well, I mean, in like five seconds. Yo, just give me five seconds. Hey, this ain't gonna take long. <laughs> hey, don't mind if I do. I know what you guys are gonna say. Wait a minute, Max. Why aren't you supposed to do some wheel spins in this video? Didn't you have like two wheel spins you had to do? Yes, I completely forgot we're gonna add them in in the next round. Oh no, don't be silly. We're not gonna have to do another wheel spin this round because I'm winning this game. Who cares on my screen? I won. <laughs> Turn sensitivity up to oh four. My oh my God. goodness, bro. Uh, okay, so the next location change is uh, here at this random gravesite. Oh my goodness, no. Oh, dude, this this is crazy. The sensitivity, bro. How? Oh, he's a boy. He ran away. Okay. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, there is a creepy grave site found in our Fortnite's game. This may have been here since the start of chapter three, but I haven't seen anybody speak about it. Located not far away from Meow Souls' brand new house, it's this weird and kind of pointless grave site. This has recently come to play's attention because, with Meow Souls being added back into the game, it may seem that Meow Souls and the undead may be playing a part to the future of this chapter. This spooky grave site is lined with a handful of gravestones, none which have any references or Easter eggs to who they may belong to. At the start of this video, we actually talked about Midas coming back, but we don't really know where Midas is currently. In fact, the last time we saw Midas, he was in fact eaten by a shark. If Midas is dead, Meow Souls has set up his post at this gravestone site. Is it possible that Meow Souls has a rather sinister and disturbing idea on how to bring Midas back to life? We won't know for sure, but it would seem that something is up at this secret location that is being worked on. The most recent update in Fortnite. <gasps> oh, come on! Bro, I got no way of being this guy. I got literally no way of being. Ah, okay. Done. We're done. We're done. By the way, because I know somebody's going to mention it in the comment section. Yes, sensitivity was up. I rolled the wheel on that one. And in the last video, I had to roll the wheel twice and I carried them over in this one. We had no sprinting and crouching and we had the HUD turned off. I just want to make sure that everybody's aware that I played the wheel fairly as agreed. Unfortunate for you guys, you just didn't get a seat, okay? Because I instantly got obliterated. Support a credit code on screen right now, guys. If you want to support the channel, let me know if there's any other secrets that I may have missed in this Fortnite video. You gotta let me know, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you're gonna love the one that's on screen right now. Why don't you check it out, guys? I'm gonna catch you all in the next crazy up to three Fortnite video. Thanks a bunch, guys. Peace.